Why, why Sudan? A lot of people ask me, why Sudan? It's really hard to describe Sudan in a way that would actually do it justice. I think it's probably one of the strangest places I've ever been. Sudan is basically about trigger fish. <laughs> That's it. I mean, there's, um, you know, these little, these little buggers are on the flat all day every day, doing their thing, running around, terrorizing crustaceans and crabs. On the one hand, you've got the Nubian desert which goes on for miles and miles and miles and miles and there's absolutely nothing, no life, no fresh water and on the other edge you get this marine paradise which is just teeming with life, it's full of fish and this stark contrast in itself is enough reason to come and fish in Sudan. Six years ago we joined a diving group and uh, we discovered that it was just incredible. Just as we put the mask, we figured out that this was our place. We can't say that it's the, the best destination in the world for Jeets, because we can't say this, but um, still we are uh, hooking a very good number of Jeets. Yeah. It's really difficult to land a GT in Sudan. Uh, is uh, the environment is so is so alive? Everything is so sharp. Uh, it's a challenging, different fishery in a sense that um, you are always on your toes. Um, your gear is constantly being tested. You you're making casts. Your leaders are being cut off. Your flies are being broken. You got to stop them, otherwise nice you're going to have a broken fly line, broken leader. And, uh, broken spirit so you know every year we learn more and more and we find out where to go and how to do things and it's just getting better and better as you go. The Red Sea, Red Sea, I would say that is a, it's really it's a quite unique environment. Um, it's not an ocean; it's a sea. It looks like a lake, actually. There's no tide. Maybe 20, 30 centimeter. That's it. I think the trigger fishing is so good in Sudan because, um, first of all, we have a very, very small tide. Uh, you know, most days only about 20 centimeters. And this make quite unique the place because you you can you can fish you can wait the, the flat all the day. Uh, you maybe get 10 shots, you maybe get one shot, you maybe get 40, 50, 60 shots a day at different fish. You're gonna make those shots count. I think the appeal is that you know they're not easy to catch. Um, you know, and every single day, even every single session is different. Fish, what about trigger fish? I love them and uh, I hate them. We love them and we hate them. I mean, you'll hear from everybody who fishes here. They, they're incredibly frustrating fish, but at the same time, so rewarding. They drive me insane, but I think they're amazing at the same time. Uh, you know, people should have a, a good respect for these little buggers. I'm learning, st still now, after six years, I'm still learning. Every day is a new day for Trigger.
were way stronger than you expect. I mean, you don't expect a fish with that kind of shape and bill to be that strong. I mean, it's always great to see the reaction when that first run happened. People, wow. When I look at a trigger, I don't think it should be as strong as it is. That's the first thing that it takes me away every time. Physically, it's just a weird, awkward looking, very beautiful, but weird and awkward looking little thing. And, you know, most of the guests who are getting them for the first time are completely shocked. They have no idea <laughs> where this part is. They just assume they've hooked something else. No trigger fish is the same. You can catch a hundred different trigger fish and every experience will be different. Every time it will be unique. Um, some will bite the line, some will bite the hook. Others, you set it as hard as you can and it's just floundering around there and the hook just falls out of its mouth. Um, others will try and run you into the coral or take you into a hole and you have to go and dive them out. <laughs> they have a very different attitude. Uh, sometimes they just, as, you, as the fly land uh, in the water, even on the head, they take it and sometimes no, they are almost impossible. But I think this, this makes this, make this fish a quite, quite unique uh, creature in, in the sea. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating, my eyes are... <laughs>